How is your head game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. oh. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Delaney. And today we have an amazing Q&A we're gonna do. You guys asked a bunch of questions on my Snapchat and on my Instagram. So without further ado, let's get jumped like, <laughs> let's jump right into the video. If anyone is new here, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this with a friend. Let's go, baby! Alright, so we'll start off with the um, questions on Snapchat. How are you always so happy and positive? What is your secret? You know, some days are better than others, some days are worse than others, and I think you really have to literally live like you're living your last day on this earth. Like, be as positive as you can. Spread positivity because positivity can go a long way. Yeah, so why not be positive if it's an option to be positive, you know? My secret is... My secret is... To always live life like you're gonna die tomorrow. And there's no redos in life. And I can, I can go on a rant about that. That there's no redos in life. Because that's been my motto since forever. But yeah, just live like you have... There's no redos. You're, you're here a hundred years, if that. And just live with no regrets. So that's how I'm always trying to stay positive and have a happy mindset. Gas station order? Um, oh God. I like pumpkin seeds. I like, um, I don't really go to the gas station that much to get food. Quick trip, I get these little like uh, milkshakes that they have there. Love them. If you guys are from Wisconsin, you guys know what quick trip is. They have really good breadsticks. Anything you can really think of is at quick trip. I love it. What was the first thing you noticed about your girlfriend that made you like her? Um, the first thing that I noticed was probably her smile or just how her face lights up when she talks about something she's passionate about because I love it and it makes me happy. And just that, I don't know, I fell in love with her personality, her everything. Like, it's not just looks. Like, I got lucky with the looks. She's, she's pretty as hell. It's just how she looks at the world. I fell in love with everything about her. Her eyes. Her eyes, that's one thing. Yes, her eyes. Yes, her eyes. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. How's life? Life is great. I mean, life has been really... I love the people who are in my life right now. I love my best friends. I love my girlfriend. I love my family. You know, I make sure my family's okay before I am. I make sure my girlfriend's... Are, I, I, I make sure my friends are okay before I am. So I love life right now. It's so fun. You know, it is kind of hard with college and everything, you know, with COVID, but we're pushing through and it's almost done with last semester. I'm almost done in a month, so that's exciting. But other than that, life is actually pretty good right now. Thank you for asking. What did you want to do with your life before social media? Before social media, I really wanted to do something with business and stuff, like own my own business, run my own something. But social media and stuff like YouTube, I've done before I even blew up on social media. I did YouTube as a freshman when TikTok and stuff wasn't even an app. I did like a bunch of YouTube stuff and I've always wanted to do it. So I just pushed myself to do it and I'm here right now doing it. And it's crazy because everything happens for a reason, kind of like the butterfly effect, but like everything leading up to this moment and me in my position right now is what I basically wanted to do. So yeah, it kind of comes to you if you have passion in it and if you're grinding every day, it'll come to you. And I have a lot of passion in this and I care about each and every one of you so much to the point where you guys like changed my whole entire life. I'm not kidding. It is crazy every single day. Every single day it is crazy to think that I have either saved people's lives or help help people come out to their family. Like that's a big thing. Especially that's huge to me. Like that's I'm so proud. That's awesome. Where do you get your fits? My outfits I get from I go shopping at my favorite store is H and M for the summertime. Like I get board shorts from there, which I love. I have a bunch of pictures on my Instagram about them. So go hit up my Instagram if you want to see pictures of me in swim shorts. I get my jeans from American Eagle um, or Hollister. Zoomies sometimes if there's deals. I shop very cheap. Like I very, I don't really care about the brand. I care about the quality, I guess. <laughs> yeah, basically H&M is my favorite. That's my favorite store. Do me and my girlfriend live together? No, we do not live together. I have like 
so my parents, I live in my parents' house still, obviously. The whole basement is mine, so I kind of say it's like my apartment, and she sleeps over all the time. We basically do live together, but we don't live together. When did you realize you were gay? I realized I was gay. I came to realization about it when I was a freshman, but other than that, all these life events before my freshman year leading up to it, I'm like, I can think back now and be like, oh, that's because you're gay. Like, that's because you you like girls. There's so many events that happened that I could just be like, okay, that makes total sense. So I knew I was gay freshman year. So like five years ago. What do you do if you don't know how a friend feels about you being gay? How, what do you do if you don't know how a friend feels about you being gay? I have that conversation with them. I know it might be a very, very uncomfortable hard conversation to have to get you to feel better you kind of have to have that conversation no matter what because if you don't feel comfortable with that friend not knowing then i don't know how you'll be comfortable with them knowing i think it's just you have to be on the same page with everything and just talk to them if they're if they're your real friend they won't judge you no matter what which is what i've learned biggest goal for 2021 is to hit a hundred thousand subscribers 100k on youtube get that plaque like that is I hope to hit that by 2022 so my biggest goal for 2021 is to get that plaque so let's go hit that subscribe button right now and tell your friends to too because why not do you like your life right now yes I love my life right now I am the most girly girl ever and I think nobody could tell what should I do so no, nobody could tell you were gay then just maybe just come out and be like yo I like girls I know I like it doesn't matter if you dress like a girly girl, if you dress like a tomboy, it doesn't matter. It's how you feel, like you feel like you're gay. Obviously it's not a choice, but you feel like that, so just tell people. Do you think your life will be easier if you were straight? No, I don't think it would change anything because my parents and everyone would accept me no matter what. I just am not straight, so I don't know, I don't, yeah, no, life wouldn't be easier. Maybe like I wouldn't have to come out, maybe that's like, Something that I wouldn't have to go through, but I went through it and I'm here today. Everything happens for a reason. So here we are right now. How do you know if you are in love with a girl? It really comes down to how you look at her, I really believe. How you look at her, if you think about the future with her, all of that is love and you have different love languages like mine and my girlfriend's are, is touch. And you could, you're in love with a girl when you get butterflies, if everyone loves differently. So I can't really say how do I know if you're in love with a girl? Because you'll know when you know. Do you get questions about being gay from people at your school? In high school, I used to, but no, not, not from college. No one, no. Since it's online, no, but I haven't really met any college people to really have a conversation with. How is your head game? <laughs> I know my parents won't accept me, but what is the best way to tell them that I'm gay? Um, just be, you know, if you know that they won't accept you, don't come out. There's no reason to come out if you know you won't be accepted. Because you want to be accepted, you want to feel safe in your own house. Don't come out if they won't accept you because it is a scary world out there. Then just wait till you're on your own. Wait till you're, you know, comfortable with coming out. Just wait. You don't, there's no timeline. Did you ever have a, oh shit, I might be gay moment as a kid? Yes, I would have those all the time, but I, I wouldn't know what it was until I realized I was gay. I didn't know what, like, those gaydar feelings were until it all made sense to me when I was gay, like, when I realized what it was. It's kind of crazy to think, but if anyone went through the same experience, you know what I'm talking about. What do I wear under my jeans? Um, I sometimes wear boxers or straight up just underwear, so a thong. Oh my god, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Do you listen to Girl in Red? Yeah, I listen to Girl in Red sometimes. My favorite song by her is probably Girls or We Fell in Love in October or Girlfriend, something like that. Yeah, Girl in Red is dope. If you're both a top or a bottom, who decides to go where? I think that's it for all the Q&A questions. Thank you guys for sending them in. Maybe your question got in here. That's all the time I have, and I hope everyone has a great day. Hit the subscribe button. Stay safe out there. Let's go. Let's hit 100K, baby. Let's go. I love you guys. Bye. Okay, so first stop, we have to go to Dunkin', so... We're gonna order my drink, not Charlie's. <laughs> One more P.O. Box opening. Oh my God, is this a Nike sign? Oh, Nike. Hey, it's in rainbow too, I love that, it's so cute. What? 
You are so talented. She goes, don't let your body define your soul. Let your soul define your body. That's a good quote.